Here's the head coach of the Cavaliers, Dane Dameron. Coach, heading on the road this week to take on the Dragons of Virginia Lynchburg. What can you tell us about VUL? I think they're very talented, at, at, you know, in some positions. You know, it's obvious that they're uh, they're a new program trying to get the thing launched. But, uh, you know, the kids uh, kids can run. they got some big kids that play up front. And, uh, you know, they're going to they're gonna pose a uh, challenge for us right now. When you schedule this game, you know, other than playing home games, we don't get a chance to play a lot of games in our state. Uh, being in the Mountain East Conference schools in West Virginia and Ohio, talk about that a little bit and finding this game and, and how you think this may benefit us down the road with recruiting and things of that nature being in the Lynchburg area. Well, yeah, you, you stated it right there. We're getting a chance to play an away game in our home state, which we're never going to get a chance to do the way that uh, our league is construed. But, uh, you know, we're excited about it. Their coach had, had left me a message just as he saw that we had an open date, so I called him back. and We just worked on it a little bit, and I told him, you know, the, you know, the only way out of play him if we, if, is if we could go there two straight years because I think it's very good, very important because we have a lot of, we have a lot of young men from the northern Virginia, from central Virginia, from the beach area, you know, that – they may never have a chance for their parents to get over here to watch them play, you know, and so us getting four hours closer to them is a big deal, and so our kids are excited about the opportunity because there's going to be some kids that have people come and watch them play that haven't seen them play. Your team uh, continues to play well defensively, uh, offensively, ball control, and holding on to the football continues to be kind of the bugaboo there. Hit on that a little bit, and, uh, you know, what needs to happen here tomorrow for us to come out with a W? Well, I mean, we got to we got to end every possession with a kick, whether it's a punt or a field goal. That's definitely been our, you know, that's been our Achilles heel. You know, it's something that we work on every single day for a lot of for a lot of time. We're always harping on it, but it just hasn't seemed to sink in yet. And you know, we've looked at doing some different things to try to, to try to get the kids in to understand the importance of holding on to the ball. And uh, you know, we've we've also been kind of you know snake bit by penalties at the wrong time. Holdings are going to happen. You know, holding happens almost every single play, but it seems like it always gets called on us. It's a at the most inopportune time, we'll have a 12-yard gain and get a 15-yard holding penalty or a 10-yard holding penalty and bring us back. You know, so we're just not playing good enough football right now to win football games. You know, that's something that we've got to get try to correct, get try to get corrected for this Saturday. Coach, uh, defensively, a kid who I think you know he started a lot last year, played a lot, uh, saw his snaps go down a little bit earlier in the year, and now they're about back up. Uh, Buster Henderson playing extremely well here as we head down the home stretch of the year. Well, you know, he played last year in the secondary a little bit more because of uh, necessity with Mo Watkins being banged up and just like some some of those things. And we moved him to linebacker when we recruited him. When we recruited him, we figured that he would grow into a linebacker. Didn't know exactly when it would happen, but he's been a valuable member of our secondary, you know. And but having to move in to play linebacker has increased his reps just because of numbers, and he's done a great job. And I know he's excited. He's going to be playing real close to home, being from mathematics. Coach, uh, some other kids defensively uh, that, that have been playing well for you. Up front, uh, you know, Jamora Cousins played a lot. Uh, you know, Johnson's played well up front. Williams kid. Uh, talk about, you know, this defense has played extremely well. You know, there's not a lot of seniors on that. You know, Card Bowl and some guys, but uh, really not a lot of seniors on that defense. No, we're playing a lot of young kids everywhere. And uh, it's, you know, that's it's frustrating right now because, you know, young kids make young mistakes, young mistakes but it's, uh, it's definitely exciting for what we've got coming in the future. And they, they've done some good jobs. Uh, you know, we're going to miss Ed Carbo when he's done, no question about that. And, uh, you know, uh, Andre Hamilton's had a great year in the secondary, too. And then Michael Terry and Ben Funny, you know, our undersized defensive line, but they play as hard as anybody in the league, you know. So we're, we're happy with how they've played. You know, we just got to make sure that this Saturday we play all three phases of the game. Fans kickoff from City Stadium in Lynchburg is set for noon. Thanks, Coach.